hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. Let's take off, we're all ready to roll. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Wake up, Gorga, it's time to play. Come on, Captain Bula, let's welcome the day. Where's that cedar? Ready to go. Wizzy and Wig are good to go. Beakers bubbling, turning blue. Mortals making something new. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round balls at mission control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round balls at mission control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Another winter day on Zula. A time for wearing earmuffs, mittens, nice warm overcoats, and dodging snowballs. Good one, Wizzy. Ready for lunch? We're having a winter salad. Oh, that means no fresh tomatoes. It's too cold to grow them in winter. Oh, well. Wow, where did those come from? I don't remember that being there. Hi, Malto. What's this place? Why, it's my new greenhouse. Greenhouse? But it's all glass, and it's not even green. <laughs> exactly. A greenhouse is a glass house used to grow plants, such as these tomatoes, especially in the cold winter. I get it. A house full of green plants. A greenhouse. Ooh, it sure is warm in here. That's because a greenhouse works by trapping heat from the sun. How does it do that? Well, remember last summer when we were in Zula Park eating ice cream? You mean when Bula dropped his Saturn Swirl ice cream cone on the sidewalk and it started to melt really fast? Because the sidewalk was so hot. But why was the sidewalk so hot? Well, sunlight gives us light and heat. Just like the bulb in my lamp. It's warm, all right. So, the sunlight beat down on the sidewalk, and when it hit the sidewalk, it heated it up. But not as much as it's going to heat up Zula. <laughs> Now, let's look at the monitor. The glass lets in sunlight, which give us both light and heat. It hits the ground and heats it up. Some of the heat goes out through the glass, and some is trapped inside by the glass. So the greenhouse heats up and keeps the plants warm enough to live and grow in the winter. Bingo! And did you know that the air of a planet can make planets act like greenhouses and trap heat? It's called the greenhouse effect. But how can a planet act like a greenhouse? <laughs> I'm so glad you asked. Let's check the Multopedia. <whistles> Earth has a layer of air around it called an atmosphere. The atmosphere keeps in the heat around Earth just like the glass keeps the heat in a greenhouse. I see. Sunlight enters Earth's atmosphere and passes through it because the air is clear like the glass in the greenhouse. The sunlight hits the ground and heats it up. Then some of that heat rises up through the atmosphere back into space. But a lot gets trapped by the atmosphere, causing Earth to heat up. But how is the heat trapped? It's trapped by stuff in the atmosphere called gases. Gases are hard to see, but I can show you an example of one. When you boil water in a pot, it turns to steam. That steam is a gas. There are lots of different kinds of gases in the atmosphere. Many come from plants and animals. Some of these gases are really good at trapping the heat. So they make Earth warmer, 
like a greenhouse. Which is why these gases are called greenhouse gases. And the trapping of heat in the atmosphere is called the greenhouse effect. Is the greenhouse effect a bad thing? No. Without it, Earth would be a lot colder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is right. But the greenhouse effect is like a nice thick coat. <laughs> Much better! Isn't it? The coat traps the heat from your body and keeps it from going outside the coat. That's what the atmosphere around a planet does. It traps part of a planet's heat inside it, like a coat around the planet. In that way, the greenhouse effect makes Earth just the right temperature for humans and all living things. But what would happen if there were a lot more greenhouse gases? Well, it is possible to have too many. Automobiles and factories can give off more greenhouse gases than normal. What would happen then? It's a robot! The card says his name is Pugsley and he's a gift. But it doesn't say who it's from. <laughs> It's time for lunch. Fascinating. They've taken the bait, Trexy. Soon it will be Dark Truder, ruler of Zula. He really knows how to toss a salad. Such a really helpful, thoughtful gift. Um. <laughs> I think I'll take a nap. Really gets around fast, doesn't he, Gorga? Hey, there's two of them now. Now there's four. I didn't know they could do that. Bula, the robots did all of our chores. Can we go play now? Well, okay, sure. Come on, we'll show you how to snowboard. Bula, we've got eight Bugsleys now. Zula Patrol? Oh, hi, Iris. Bula, darling. I just wanted to thank you. One of your new robots came over to my house and started doing all the chores. And all my neighbors got a robot, too. But the oddest thing is, they keep making more robots. And now I've got eight of them. In fact, we've all got eight of them. And they're all multiplying like crazy. The news says they're all over Zula. How do we stop them? We have no idea, Iris. And we didn't send them. We'll get back to you. Oh, my! These robots are giving off very large amounts of greenhouse gases. This could be serious. I must check my atmospheric readings. As I feared, my instruments show there's more greenhouse gas in the atmosphere than normal. It must be coming from the robots. This is bad. But I thought you said that greenhouse gases kept everything nice and warm. Yes. But with so many robots giving off so much greenhouse gases, the greenhouse effect is starting to increase really, really fast. So more heat is being trapped by the atmosphere much faster than normal. You never did tell us what would happen if that happens. That could make our planet too hot. This is a job for the Zula Patrol. Huh. Molto isn't the only one who knows about the greenhouse effect. It's all working, Traxy. Zula will get so warm that the Zulaeans will be forced to leave the planet. <laughs> I'll be king! Yeah, 
Great idea. King of nothing. You know, it's gonna take a very long time for the greenhouse gases to make the planet hotter. Patience, Traxi. All bad things come to villains who wait. We've got to turn these robots off! Hmm, interesting. They all seem to do whatever the first Pugsley does. That's it! If we can get the first Pugsley to go back where he came from, maybe the others will follow. I get it. Like a big game of follow the leader. Or, or like follow the Pugsley. <laughs> There! Using my robot controller, I told Pugsley number one to go home! Oh, hey! It's working! <laughs> huh, that's strange. Zula's greenhouse gases are no longer increasing. What? What are you doing here? Shoo! Shoo! Whoa! Gotta find the directions to turn these robots off! <laughs> Did we get rid of the robots before the planet got too hot, Molto? Yes. It appears the atmosphere was not hurt, so Zula won't get too hot. Well, the real robots may be gone, but we still have plenty of Pugsley Snowman to play with. And this is where I came in. Whoa! <laughs> I'm out of here! It's time for our Malto moment. Do you know what the greenhouse effect is? Oh, I know! It's a house that's colored green! No, the trapping of heat by Earth's atmosphere is called the greenhouse effect. And just like in a real greenhouse for plants, the greenhouse effect keeps Earth nice warm. Right! Sunlight comes through the layer of air around Earth called the atmosphere. The sunlight hits the ground and heats it up. Then some of that heat rises back up through the atmosphere. But only some of the heat goes all the way through the atmosphere back into space. Some of it gets trapped by the atmosphere, so it stays there and keeps Earth warm. Just like a cup keeps us nice and warm. Sure, I knew that. <laughs> Bye for now. See you next time. Bye-bye! <laughs>